What graphic settings do you play on? Depending on who you are, if you're a pro, the quality of your game is probably not so important because you want to maximize the amount of frames that you're getting because you're trying to win games and tournaments. At that high of a level, having the most HD game really is not so important. And if you're a casual player, then you're probably playing with a mix of the best FPS settings mixed with the best graphical settings. To have a management of the two, that's something comfortable for you to look at and enjoy. Which also comes down to preference depending on what you prefer and what your machine is like. But how low can the settings on a game like Valorant actually go? I'm your not Justin, and this is Valorant with Potato Settings. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the lowest possible settings you can have without being banned, and I'll even show you the lowest possible settings you can have while risking being banned. We're of course going to look at some cursed skins that I'm used to seeing in the highest of quality on the lowest quality. And we're gonna have some fun and learn a few new things about the game. Leave a like on the video and subscribe. Let's jump right into all of it. When you think about turning down the settings in your games, it's probably a very straightforward process to you. And when you play games like Counter-Strike or even older games like Team Fortress 2, you've been conditioned to think, well, I can turn down any setting I want to if I know how to do it and I won't be banned for it. And in the instance of Valorant, it's not quite so cut and dry, unfortunately. And yes, the clip on the screen you're seeing right now is real. We'll get into that later. It's a given that you would just turn down all of your settings directly in Valorant, and that's about as far as you can go. There's no FOV control and nothing too crazy. There's not even a console command. But what more could we do to make the quality of the game even lower without getting banned? If you're running on NVIDIA, there's this thing called NVIDIA Control Panel where you can go and configure all of your graphical settings. I figured that this was a good and safe place to start with turning down our settings as low as they could go. The preview on the screen there shows that the quality has actually gone down quite a bit, just from switching to performance mode. And then after that, we went to Manage 3D Settings and we put on image scaling and put it on 2%. Image scaling is generally used to make your games look sharper and more clear. But with NVIDIA's control panel, we're doing the opposite to make our games look very not clear. And specifically what this will do is make textures and images, like for instance, on the Smite Classic that you guys saw earlier, look really bad. And as a matter of fact, this setting is what made the designs on the Smite Classic look so pixelated. However, that leaves us with one thing left to do, and that is to hop on Valorant and turn down all of the in-game settings. Let's go. Here we are in the range, and I have turned down my NVIDIA control panel settings to be set to strictly performance. We have all sorts of low settings on right now, but there's one thing left to do, and that is to go into our video settings here, and in the graphics quality tab, turn everything down to low. Turn everything off that can be off. Just make everything look absolutely terrible. And when we press close settings, we'll immediately see some changes. <laughs> So uh, this may be the way that you uh, see the game regardless. And I, this is not supposed to be to poke fun at people who may have a PC that's not as expensive as other people's PCs. But for the sake of science, we're looking at all the Prime stuff right now because uh, it kind of becomes really, really butchered without its textures. Like this does not look like the Prime Phantom at all. This looks like something that is like copying it for a mobile game. Hyperfront be like... From the Prime stuff, this is easily going to be the most cursed one of them all, and that is the Prime Odin. It just turns this into like a giant toilet. After a while of looking at our skins with the lowest possible settings, I wondered, is there any way that we can go beyond that? And it turns out there actually is, but the unfortunate part of that is that it's bannable. Let's take a little bit of a deep dive into it. Three years ago, around the launch of Valorant, a content creator named Valance uploaded this video, proving that you could, without a shadow of a doubt, turn down Valorant settings beyond what we thought was possible. Where so far in this video, we have only turned down the settings of our game, as well as turned down a few settings from our GPU. This does what we did, far beyond that. Primarily, it focuses on the anti-aliasing and the textures, and it turns them way farther down than we can with the control panel. As I said, it's essentially the same thing that we did, but it uses a different software. That is a third-party software that's not really supported by NVIDIA. And that brings me to the point of why we're not doing it in this video, and that is because it is bannable. This is not allowed. I've been wanting to do this video for a very long time, and after finding out that you could turn the settings down much lower than I was able to, I was saddened to hear that this is, in fact, bannable. But 
the results are a little bit unclear. I've read reports online of multiple users saying that they got banned for doing this, and some people saying that they haven't been banned for doing this. From the beginning of the game, all the way up until currently. And to be quite honest with you, while I'm convinced that you will get banned for doing this, I'm still unsure. And because I don't know if you can or can't do this, and Valorant and Riot specifically don't tell you what you are and aren't allowed to use, very explicitly at least, it's not worth the risk, and I feel like if you don't know if you should do something, you probably just shouldn't do it. Now, I know what you're asking. Why would this ever be bannable? Like, it's not really so good. It, it doesn't do anything for you. And the answer is very simple. Let's take a look at this clip here. This looks drastically different from how Valorant is supposed to look, even on its natural lowest settings. And you could argue and say that this in some way, shape or form gives you an advantage. And on top of that, we don't know exactly what advantages would even come from this because we haven't seen the entire game, every map, every character with these settings on. There very well could be spots that you could see through walls, bugs involving the mechanics of flashes and smokes. And at the end of the day, when you look at something like this, it is so much extra steps to make your game be different that not everybody is going to be willing to do that, making it an unfair thing that sets you on a different playing field than others. And likewise, it does in fact make it easier for hackers and aimbotters out there to do their thing and ruin the game for everybody. Now, do I agree generally with the sentiment of this stuff? Uh, should it be banned or not? Uh, I kind of do, but I do think that there is some fun and some real conveniences to be had when you're allowed to modify the game to your liking. It comes with pros and cons. One of the pros is, is that I really do enjoy knowing that I'm playing against people who are generally playing on the exact same settings that I'm playing at. They see the same things that I see and have no real advantages in that regard. I don't think it would personally be such a big deal to be able to control things like our FOV, being able to change the field of view. I mean, in Valorant, you can already change from left-handed to right-handed, so why not just give us the option to have a different FOV if it's the same thing? However, let me know what you guys think about this. What settings do you guys play on? Leave a comment down below and tell me about it. And what settings do you think that Valorant is missing? This has been Valorant with Potato Settings. I hope that you guys had some fun with me, and I also hope that you learned a few things if you watched this. Do leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new, and click the bell for notifications because I upload all sorts of videos focusing on skins and everything else. Also, links down below in the description of Valance's channel, as well as my social media and all that sort of stuff. Give me a follow, give Valance a follow, and watch his video. I would really appreciate it. And to finish this video off, we're just going to look at a few more skins with low quality. I love you guys so much, and I thank you for watching. As always, I'm Justin and you're not. You can see here that I have the VCT lock-in blade, and that's because I wanted to showcase the Champion's Vandal first, because I found that while I was doing this, stuff that looks the weirdest <laughs> is stuff that has text on it, and like this just looks awful. Like You could almost barely read it. The Doodle Buds Low Res Bad Quality Phantom. Here's a little weird thing I can show you guys. Watch this. So on high graphic settings, when you throw stuff down, you can actually see a little outline that tells you exactly what weapon it is and what skin it is. With this, it no longer does that. Which brings me to my next skin here. And that is one that you guys may recognize. It's uh, the Red Reaper Sheriff. You never really realize how important shadows are until they're gone because like this is a bright red skin. Like when shadows are on, this is not bright red. This is like a kind of darkish, maroonish color. Let's see that classic Reaver Reload in low res. <laughs> Get ready to take a trip under the sea. Honestly, it's not too bad. Like, you can definitely tell that the, like, fish in this are really, really fake and not living. But, uh, you know, for the most part, I would say this isn't bad. We also got the shorty here, too, to kind of really drive home here. This next one might steal the show, but here is kind of the Prism Phantom. Also the Riot Buddy in little Res. Now this sort of takes all of the prism out of prism. This looks like a PS1 gun. Kind of just butchered, but I kind of like it. You know, all this stuff is so charming. Like when you love a video game the way that I love Valorant, like any and everything becomes charming in this. And like, I would actually kind of enjoy maybe a skin line that comes out that's supposed to look low quality.